Now, we're not telling you how to discipline your children, but in some parts of the world, kids put it into court if you shame them too much, huh? Just be a In our recent episode, we highlighted why we thought that a lick tape might not be such a bad thing. But in this episode, we want to highlight the potential drawbacks to making a lick tape. Now, while we're not telling you what to do with your kids, you might want to consider some of the following points, starting with number five. Now, as a parent making a lick tape, you're in an emotional state because your kids have made you angry. As a result, not really considering that when you make this lick tape, you can possibly create permanent emotional scarring. Now regular licks children can deal with. Take some licks and move on. But when they're made to cry and beg, and then you show the world their vulnerable state, they may not develop like a normal child. Dog, so you're telling me you're so afraid of your mom's cutting your tail and posting a video on Facebook that you had to ask her to do everything? Hold on. Mom, Jake wants to never have to ask her to do everything. But we don't want our children to be engaged in the wrong activity. We don't necessarily want them to be scarred so bad that they can't think outside of licks. Or think of licks as life's only consequence. Okay, so you want to teach a child a lesson when they embarrass the family. And that's fine. But the point that we want to raise on number four is that making a lick tape can cause further embarrassment to your house. Think about it. Your child doesn't mud up the family name and you want to act like a beast on camera and post it for the world to see. And we all know Caribbean parents. They always want to say random stuff when they cut in your tail. And the children say weird things right back. <sighs> you for the men? We talk about this already. So the punishments come with how to match the crime. No, I Oh Oh God! 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 So at the end of the day, even though you might feel accomplished as a parent for disciplining your child, consider that now your peer group might think of you as primitive for conducting yourself in this manner. Now, a lick tape is intended to have the direct impact of changing negative behavior. However, there are also indirect impacts of making a lick tape. For example, social displacement. Parents need to remember that a peer group is vital for certain aspects of success and a lick tape might destroy the social network of your child. Now you might say, well there's a friend in them that's encouraged, what are you telling him about? But what about potential beneficial friends that might shy away from your child because of your public humiliation stunt? I love her now, I love her forever and when we get out of school I'll build her a castle and make her my queen. You should check this. <laughs> but why are moms make me not love her anymore? While you want to discourage your child from hanging out with the riffraff, consider that you might be pushing them away from the positive influences as well, huh? At number two, we want to tell your parents something that you often bombard your children with. You always tell us that our future is in our hands and all that jazz. But by making a lick tape, you might be setting yourself for a haunting past. It might be difficult for your child to become, for instance, a politician. As a mother, sister, and a wife, I have nothing but love for my country and my fellow men. I thank you. She says she has love for her fellow man, but does anybody remember a video a couple years back of her mother cutting her tail because she was sharing her love for her fellow man at just 16 years old? You want a prosperous future and career for your child, but there are those who will dig up a lick tape for their benefit. Our top reason why making a lick tape might not be the right solution deals with calming down and then thinking about the course of action before making said lick tape, because you might regret the decision if you don't think of an alternative. Trust me, there are more effective ways of punishing a child than getting physical, or getting physical and posting it online. Do you get any sign? Get the sign, yes, all you. Watch what he's doing. Watch that he's chopping. This he's be doing on Skype. Skype. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ho hold your hand and smell. Mommy, oh gosh. Hold it. I want to do it no. again. Mm -mm. Mommy. No. Mommy, no. of course. All right. All right, Samson. All right. But here now, I would take a picture and let me see you doing this nonsense again. Mommy. I wouldn't hesitate to post it. Go on. Clean up yourself. 
by thinking about the punishment before administering it, you can save a lot of time, energy, and embarrassment. Not to mention that you can collect the evidence and use it to your advantage at a later point. And that's it, guys. Special thanks goes out to our actors and everyone that helped us out. If you're watching us on Synergy TV Connect, please remember to check us out on YouTube where you can like, rate, and comment on all our videos. Share the video if you like it. And remember, guys, prostate cancer can start as early as 25. Napoleon, out.